Greetings, Car Fanatics. Today we'll be testing the accuracy of these Tektron half inch and 3 8 inch drive torque wrenches. We'll be using this digital AC Delco torque wrench adapter as our benchmark. The digital torque wrench adapter is rated to be accurate within plus or minus 2%, while the Tektrons are rated to be accurate within plus or minus 4%. In addition to testing these torque wrenches, I'll also show you how to calibrate your torque wrench. So starting with a half inch drive torque wrench, which I've had for about 5 years now and I've only calibrated it once myself, let's see how accurate it is. It's rated for 10 to 150 foot-pounds, so let's start by testing its accuracy at 20 foot-pounds. I've attached a torque wrench to the digital adapter which will allow us to read the digital torque reading once the torque wrench specifies that we're at the correct torque level. Okay, so I've torqued the wheel bolt to 20 foot-pounds. However, the digital torque wrench adapter is reading 24.6 foot-pounds, so the torque wrench is about 25% off. Let's repeat this test at 40 foot-pounds. Okay, so at 40 foot-pounds, the digital torque wrench adapter reads 43.7 foot-pounds, so it seems like the torque wrench is more accurate at 40 foot-pounds than it is at 20 foot-pounds, however, it's still about 10% off. Let's repeat the test at 80 foot-pounds. Okay, the digital adapter reads 75.3 foot-pounds, so it's still about 10% off. However, instead, the torque wrench is actually reading lower than the specified torque rating. And finally, let's torque the wheel bolt to the correct spec of 118 foot-pounds. All right, and the digital adapter is reading 106.7 foot-pounds. So what we can see here is as we increase the torque setting, the torque wrench goes from reading high to reading low. Probably somewhere between 40 to 80 foot-pounds of torque, this is where the transition happens. All right, I'm gonna show you how to calibrate your torque wrench if your torque wrench is off, but before we do that, let's go ahead and test the accuracy of the 3.8 inch drive torque wrench. So it's only about six months old, and given the age, I'm guessing this is going to be more accurate. And because this is a three inch drive torque wrench and the digital torque wrench adapter is a half inch drive, it's not going to fit, so we're going to have to modify the test a bit. I'm going to torque the wheel bolt with the torque wrench first, then I'm going to use the digital torque wrench adapter to estimate the actual torque. So starting at 20 foot-pounds of torque, let's check this out. Okay, so with the digital torque wrench, I'm at 20 foot-pounds and the wheel bolt is still not moving. I'm gonna add a little bit more torque here. All right, we're at 21.6 foot-pounds and I was barely able to turn the wheel bolt. So I'm estimating that the torque wrench did torque the wheel bolt somewhere between 20 to 21 foot-pounds of torque. Let's just estimate that it torqued the wheel bolt to 21 foot-pounds of torque. This is actually pretty accurate. Now let's repeat the test at 40 foot-pounds. All right, and at 41 foot-pounds of torque, the wheel bolt still isn't moving. All right, just increasing the torque here. We're at 42.7 foot-pounds, and I was able to turn the wheel bolt just slightly. So I'm estimating that the torque wrench probably got the wheel bolt to around 42 foot-pounds of torque, which would be only 5% off. That's actually pretty good. And finally, let's test the torque at 75 foot-pounds of torque because the torque wrench is only rated from 10 to 80 foot-pounds of torque. Okay, so I just got the wheel bolt to turn a little bit more, and it's at 77.7 foot-pounds of torque. So let's estimate that the torque wrench got the wheel bolt to 77 foot-pounds. Wow, this is actually pretty accurate. So let's say you do need to recalibrate your torque wrench. Let me show you how. So we have the half-inch drive torque wrench all set up here with the digital torque wrench adapter, and there's a set screw here that we can adjust to adjust the torque setting. So by tightening the set screw, this is actually going to lower the actual amount of torque and to tighten it it's going to have the opposite effect so we're going to start by tightening the set screw and this is going to allow the torque rating to actually read lower than it actually is so we can fine tune it so let's start and calibrate the torque wrench to 20 foot pounds and we can see that the digital adapter is reading 18.4 foot pounds let's keep adjusting 19.1 
19.6, and 20.2. All right, I think that is close enough. Now let's go ahead and just make sure we have this working properly at the rest of the torque range. I have it set to 40 foot-pounds of torque here. And that clicked at 33.7. So you can see that by calibrating at the low range, the high range has been off. So if you remember the original settings, at 20 foot-pounds of torque, it was reading around 25 foot-pounds of torque here. So it was reading high. And then at 40 foot-pounds of torque, it was reading 45 foot-pounds of torque. So by lowering the calibration setting, it's actually making the torque reading at 40 foot-pounds of torque a bit off. Now I don't plan to use this torque range at you know, 20 foot-pounds of torque. That's what I have the 3.8 inch drive torque range for. So let's go ahead and calibrate this at 40 foot-pounds, which is going to be more representative of the torque range we'll be using this torque wrench for. 35 or 36, 39.8, and 40. All right guys, so what did we learn today? The Tektron torque wrenches are a good entry-level torque wrench. Brand new, they do seem to match the manufacturer's stated 4% accuracy, but over time you will need to recalibrate them just like any other mechanical torque wrench. If you're on a budget, I think these Tektron torque wrenches are great to start off with. However, I do recommend that you consider a digital torque wrench because this AC Delco digital torque wrench adapter is 60 bucks versus the Tektron torque wrenches, which are 40 bucks. So just for a little more money, you can get a digital torque wrench adapter like this, and it's going to give you more accurate readings and not require nearly as many calibrations. Well, thanks for watching Car Fanatics. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you're notified each time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.